group is the French Yellow Pages. Um, so we have some key numbers. Last year, we had 27 million monthly visits and 367 million route requests. So the subject of my talk today is to share our overall of MAP engine services uh, around MAPNIC and PostGIS. So I divided my talk into three main parts, uh, the path, our journey, and the feedback. So let's talk, let's talk about the path, uh, the starting point. MAPI has made maps for 16 years uh, for its website on French yellow pages. We built our own processing with proprietary and commercial tools. This stack works. I have some interesting features, but is limited into its capacity. So you have a whole map with a whole stacks. And uh, we knew that new development would be very expensive. So last year, MAPI has launched a new strategy. Uh, the company would to be more local and uh, had a web to store services. So a key of success is to change the design of the map. The company needed a new map with less saturated color to support content. So the project was born. Uh, in addition uh, to the company strategy, <coughs> the technical management turns its, its attention to open source. So you have uh, an overview of the whole stacks with uh, proprietary, proprietary and commercial tools. So we upload geographic data into Oracle and we transform it and uh, export it into binary tiles into Microsoft uh, database. Uh, we made uh, our map engine in C++. We, we develop our cache, our cache and we have some uh, API. Uh, in this stack, we pre-compute a lot. Uh, 10 days to make a world made database. Uh, we are non-standard, we are proprietary format. Uh, <coughs> the map is split in 12 zoom level. Uh, and uh, we provide map for French yellow PZ, so we need performance. Uh, we, have, uh, we provide 6 billion of tiles per month. So it's the past. And the goal of the new strategy is do, to create a map design able to support content, to be ready to release with a new version of a website or French website. And we have technical goal tools too. Um, we want to reduce the computational times, address weakness of the platform and keep in mind its strength. And we have to streamline, to standardize and uh, be able <coughs> to scale and support new services. So the project was huge, and we know we had got to we had got to the end of the old system. So we brainstorming uh, when we started brainstorming two concepts are mandatory, open source and standard. So we brainstorming a lot, and the conclusion was uh, to start again. So uh, starting from a blank uh, sh sheet is always frightening, but we had no choice. Uh, we had to get rid of our old platform. So here's a new platform. Uh, so we use open source components like PoGIS, Mapnik, Tornado, Varnish. Uh, we reduce the, the preparation times today only to produce a map, a world map database. Uh, we are more standard. We contribute to MapNIC. Uh, your code, uh, uh, the code is alive and uh, the platform is up uh, now. So that's the present. And uh, let's turn our attention to our exciting journey. So the starting point, uh, we wanted to use open source, but how? And what does open source mean? So first, the team has a heterogeneous knowledge uh, on open source te technologies. Some people contributed, some people just know some open source tool. So we had to learn and get help from experts like Oslandia or Dalibo. And uh, we bring a culture of open source too. 
So um, we then we split we split the project into key milestones uh, in order to learn and master the platform and show a map as soon as possible into the MAPIS platform. Um, heat or own food, as map APIs are consumed by third parties, we have to be its first user and we want to test it fast. So uh, now let's look at how we did. So the past, old platform, the new platform, and how we did. So step zero, we create a map design with uh, Edward here. And so the marketing works with uh, the map designer to create the new design of the map. So we, at, uh, at the end, we, have, we had a new mapnik template with a new color and uh, new rules. So it takes about six months. Uh, and uh, two people were involved. Then the step one, um, we wanted to show a map as soon as possible. So we change the final database and the map engine. We keep the front interface, we just work inside the platform. So, um, so we, we uh, upload we upload a rectal data uh, to uh, PodGIS, we transform it, we use Matnik with templates, and we use uh, WMS services to link with our cache. So we built the uh, prototype in only two weeks, so it's very quickly, and we can show a map as soon as possible. Uh, it's very important because uh, it's to have greater confidence uh, to, to the intent was to give greater confidence to my, to my boss because the project was huge and uh, they were a little bit scared about this project. So we, we just proved that with, op with open source, we can do it. So uh, the prototype is very, uh, we build the prototype very quickly, but we work on database and performance for several months. Step two. So we have a database, we have a map engine. So we work on cache and API with uh, the web and mobile team. So uh, we regret your, uh, our cache. We add relief and uh, uh, retina tiles. We work on performance and configurations. So two, three months at eight people were involved. And the final step, we replace our Oracle to PodGIS to streamline our database. And uh, so the back office now uh, is in, in open source tools too. So we have uh, the full uh, stacks with open source components. So it takes one month and three people. The main issue uh, we, we are faced, uh, we had to challenge historical choice. Uh, they seem sometimes absurd, but uh, we realize along the way, uh, along the way, the complexity be behind some choice. We reached a better consensus with our customer. Uh, we spent incredibly less time on tool implementations and configurations. Uh, we'll be providing to it, but we work on configuration uh, on the database and cache uh, during uh, several months. Uh, and uh, for example, we have a real issue with uh, uh, to associate metadata and map tiles for dynamic uh, display uh, on map icons. Technical choice. So uh, we ch we choose a PostGIS because PostGIS it's a transactional database, it's scalable, standard compliant. Uh, we use Mapnik. Uh, Mapnik was approved by marketing and the uh, technical team, so once we had an agreement between marketing and developer, just awesome. And we used Tornado, it's a web Python server, and Vanish for cache because it was, uh, it were already used by mobile and web teams. So you have a picture of the architecture with the database, so traffic database, map database, template, relief, mapnik, Tornado, Vanish, and we upload uh, object into Vanish for the cache. Uh, 
With its 16 years history, MAPI was legitimate and eager to participate uh, in an open source project. It was the first company's contribution to an open source project, so we developed, we developed an open source policy at MAPI. We ar arranged a technical organization with a community uh, open, uh, open source community manager, uh, a technical website on GitHub. Uh, we implemented the parallels with PostGIS, it's available on the master, and uh, MapNIC uh, is 25% uh, fast, faster. So it's, it's a key feature for us and we are very proud to share it with the community. The community. Uh, we, developed, uh, we developed some tools like uh, Picnic, it's a Python library to uh, write a MapNIC template into Python, in Python. So lastly, the feedback. <laughs> and some key figures. Today's produ production platform is HUP and handles 85% uh, of the load. So all MAPI medias are on the new map X8 iPad. And uh, all media, uh, the, the website of French LPZ uh, use the new map. And uh, at the end of the year, they will uh, use um, new map for uh, its mobile application. Uh, we have 14 servers, two for the cache, eight for the map engine, and four for the PodGIS, PodGIS database. And you have some numbers, the output without cache, with cache. We upload two million objects into cache, and uh, the size of the PodGIS database and release database. Feedback of the team. Um, it was an exciting project. Uh, we are very proud of our work and uh, we are now in control of a, of a new platform. Uh, Developers like, contrib developer like contribute and uh, they and use open source component. Uh, we had some difficulties at the beginning because contributing, contributing requi requires available, av ah, sorry, available time and uh, discussing improvement with the community take time too. So we should contribute earlier in the project. We started at the step two and I think we should start uh, at step one. So um, the deployment by our customer not as fast as, expecti as expected because the French Yellow Pages uh, is a big company so it takes time to migrate the, its application. So you have the old map and the new map. It's available on French uh, version of MAPI and French yellow, yellow page. And uh, thank you for listening. Uh, let me know if you have some questions. Well, thank you, Audrey. Actually, um, when, when you introduced and what you told here was a bit like, OK, we did this, we did it. But you did actually you did an outstanding job here. Yeah the complete transformation yep. of a whole business process yep. and where a lot of things depend on and I think I think it is an excellent Thank you. excellent story. Anyone have any questions for yes, there are two positive developers on your show. Yes. Quite well. Uh, uh, because uh, we have uh, repeat the question please. Okay we uh, he want to know why we have two PostGIS database uh, in our platform because we have um, a real-time database with traffic data because we TomTom um, uh, -tom provide uh, the, the real-time traffic so we have a, a database with real-time uh, and uh, real-time update and we have uh, another database for the road and the land use and uh, the background of the, of, the, of the map so we have more static data and a, a database with static data and database with uh, real-time data. It's, it's not the same configuration. Hi, um, is this data available just for, just for France? Or no, it's, um, we use TomTom -tom data for Europe. Okay. So we have a, a good coverage and we use uh, uh, a and D data for all the rest of the world, so the coverage is poor, but we have a world database. 
we are French French company, so the, the focus is on yes, the uh, yes, and in French. Uh, Sorry. Yes. What did you use to find the styles of your film map in the I think it's uh, the map designer is here, so I think he can um, it, it's just the time when Time Wheel came about. Um, so I, I was hesitant to, to start using it at, uh, at first. So um, I, I used the Matnik XML uh, style, uh, just yeah, XML to, to work with. So I um, had a setup of Tonton database. Uh, and had it render uh, just WMS and open layers and yeah, just made our own time meal as it were, but then uh, just uh, do it <coughs> yeah, just do it all by hand. And now um, yeah, we're doing new projects and we're actually using time meal. Yeah. Uh, the number of downloads and uh, website hit which you which you showed you which you showed in, in your earlier slides. Uh, was that before um, uh, post, uh, I mean, open source uh, software implementation or after that? Um, this? Yeah. This slide? No. Uh, one at the beginning, I see. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. That was before the third one, I think. Yeah. This? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is last year, so uh, the, um, we, we launched the new platform uh, on November last year. So it's, it's not, uh, I think we, we have to uh, wait for the new, uh, okay. the new number. The new Do you have the feeling that you won or lost more uh, customers? I think that is yeah. about this. Um, Are there any results yet? On that? Uh, no. I, I the um, we don't we don't have a negative feedback uh, on the map design, so I think not. <laughs> uh, oh sorry, no, just go ahead. Okay. No, yeah, you were first. <laughs> 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 I've seen you using a NoSQL database, Kyoto Cabinet, right? This yes, for relief wondering. for relief data uh, database. Okay. Because it's more faster. Yeah. So, if you did it again now, yes. what would you do differently? Uh, not really. Uh, I think we should contribute earlier to Matnik because we we waited, and I think it's a mistake. But uh, we learned, so so it's uh, it would be a, a mistake. But um, no, I think I I uh, I'm not change uh, some. Uh, I think uh, it, it's it's a good project, and it's a very successful pro project. What's the future now after, after uh, the future uh, for map? Uh, but we are waiting <laughs> because uh, we have to wait uh, the migration of uh, our, our customer. So I hope that uh, the, the the French Hero Pages uh, will finish uh, at the end of the year or start of the next year, and uh, we would uh, implement the twelve uh, zoom level because we stay uh, with uh, 12 zoom level because we, we can't um, produce, uh, we can't develop three platform, we can't just, uh, we can keep the old platform, the new platform with tw 12 level and the new, plat the new new platform with 12 level, uh, 20 level. So we have to, to wait. And um, because open source uh, is a success in the company, we, uh, we start. Uh, we started one month ago. The uh, new uh, migration. Uh, it's a geocoding and search engine. So we started one month ago, and uh, I hope next year we uh, we s we will start the migration of routing services into open source. So a lot of project. But now it's uh, it's about search and uh, geocoding services. And uh, we we use at the moment solar. So 
maybe next year I will be uh, I will do a presentation <laughs> for uh, it's this project. Will you also be expanding to other countries? Sorry? Will you be expanding to other countries as well? Because you're mainly focused on France. Uh, maybe in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> the French part. Yes, <laughs> French part because we are fully owned by French Europeans, so we are very focused uh, on uh, French people. So you're not hunting for the German market? Not, really, not, uh, not yet. Any last questions? If not, one, applause.